What happened? Wine asked her husband. It was morning and she woke up to a frowning husband with a phone against his ear. She wrapped her arms around his back and kissed his shoulder. Jungkook hung up the call and tossed the phone away. Jungkook, that Heath, he has some great talent of getting on my nerves. Wine, why? What did he do now? Heath was their old friend until he betrayed them. Jungkook turned towards Wine. Jungkook, that deal I'm working on for the last whole year, it's so close to be accepted. It's so near to success and he is causing hurdles. Apparently, he somehow hacked into my server and stole some data and presented it to the VIPs and now they're considering making a deal with him instead. Wine, ah, uh, Jungkook, I want you to tell you something. Jungkook, sorry baby, hold on. He picked up the call once his phone rang. While well, he usually never cut wine, but the deal was important, and wine understood how hard he worked. Jungkook slipped out of bed and wine sighed. She guessed she would have told him about Heath earlier. Once he returned, he was fully dressed in his office attire and wine throne. It was too early for office. Wine, are you leaving already? What about breakfast? Jungkook, I'll do it in the office. I need to sort out a few things. I'll be back on time for tonight's dinner. Order everything you want. Make it grand. She smiled softly and sat up while he took a seat beside her and put a hand on her cheek. Jungkook, I didn't know this problem will come out of nowhere. Everything was going smoothly, but I need to handle it. I'm sorry, but once it's sorted, I'll give you all the time. Fine, babe, it's really fine. You never gave me a chance to complain before. I understand. You should sort this out and make sure that man doesn't win over you. It's your hard work. You deserve it. Jungkook, next time I'll make arrangements for the dinner myself. Wine nodded softly and Jungkook smiled at her understanding behavior and left the room after pecking her lips. The day passed by like this while she instructed the maids and made arrangements for the dinner as her parents were coming over. She made sure to call her husband's secretary as well and requested him to make sure he doesn't skip meals. The evening arrived faster than she realized. She got ready and in the meantime her parents arrived as well. They brought flowers and gifts and wine escorted them to lounge. Mom, where is your husband? Jungkook, here he is. Jungkook said while entering the lounge as well, he just returned from office and walked up to her parents greeting them like a gentleman. Jungkook, my apologies for the delay. I hope you didn't get enough time to plot a case against me. His parents laughed as he took a seat beside his wife and wrapped his arm around her.
Mom, I wish, but the only words to speak of you are good ones. Why? All right, don't make him fly. Jungkook, let a man be happy. Wine. No. Let's go for dinner. She stood up and took everyone towards the dining table. And they all started the dinner while praising her for arranging everything perfectly. Jungkook received a call and had to excuse himself. When he didn't return for a long time, Wine went after him. She entered the room and found him grabbing the car keys and about to leave the room angrily. She held his arm. Wyan, don't go. Zunku, leave my arm. I don't want to take my anger out on you. Wine had never seen him this angry before. To the extent, his body was shaking in rage. Why? Then take it out on me, if it comes to that. But don't drive like this. Jungkook yanked his arm out of his grip. He wanted to be away from her as far as he could. He didn't want to hurt her, but they say he tried. Anger clouds one's ability to think straight. Jungkook, when the hell were you going to tell me? You met Hit. He yelled. He had never yelled at it before. Why? I was going to this morning. I didn't find the time. Jungkook, today, after everything is done, why the hell you even met him? Do you know what he did? It was too loud. It even brought her parents. Dad, what's happening here? Why are you two fighting? Jungkook, answer me. He was too drawn in rage to even think about his guests. Wine, why are you portraying it as if I hid it from you intentionally? Jungkook, he used you. He used your phone and that's how he was able to access the server through the Bluetooth settings. Wine was shocked as her mother held her and her father tried to make him step back to ease the tension a little bit. But his mad eyes were not ready to accept anything. Jungkook, I told you to never meet him. He cheated us. He betrayed us. But of course you had to. Tell me why. Did your feelings for him wake up again? Vine might have a crush on him in the past, but it was the past. The day she committed to Jungkook, she sworn her loyalty to him. She never once in her nightmare thought he would ever doubt her or her loyalty towards him. Dad, that's enough boy. I suggest you to stop there. He warned, but his words didn't reach Jungkook's ears. The anger faded out of his system. It was a terribly, terrible thing to say. And the way Wine's shocked eyes teared up and she stepped back, broke apart inside of him. Wine's father stopped Jungkook, not letting him take a step further. But he somehow slipped out of his grip and marched towards Wine and pulled her in his tight embrace.
Jungkook. That is not what I meant. I'm sorry. I know it's not the case. I'm so sorry. He tightened his hug when she started to cry. He felt like the worst person alive for saying such words to her. That's why he always preferred solitude when he is angry. That's why she has never seen the angry side of him before. Wine. We met accidentally. He saw me in the cafe and asked me if he could use my cell phone to call his fiancée because she was mad at him and blocked his number. I didn't know he tricked me. I was going to tell you. I didn't know it was important. She explained while crying and Jungkook felt even worse. He would have appreciated if she told him this information, but having to explain it like this, he never wanted it. Jungkook, I know. It was not even your fault. He made her sit and got on knees in front of her, holding her hands tightly. Jungkook, I can never mean this worse. I can never doubt you. Tell me how can I fix this and I will. Wine closed her eyes and wiped her tears. Wine, let's talk it later. She stood up and he did as well with a heavy heart and turned towards her parents who were quiet. Jungkook, I'm genuinely sorry about my behavior and the dinner as well. You have handed over your daughter to me and I feel like I have done such a great sin. Dad, then make it up to her and invite us over for a dinner again. He pat Jungkook's shoulder and he bowed while they left. Wyan, I forgive you, she told him when her parents left. Jungkook shook his head. Jungkook, I want you to believe that I never once doubted you or your loyalty. I don't know how these words even escaped my mouth. It's as if they were not even mine. Wyan, Jungkook, it's okay. You have been working hard on this project for over a year only for it to be stolen by someone who was your friend once. Then you hear about your wife being the reason behind it. You were stressed up, angry, and formed me beforehand. Jungkook, you were not the reason behind it. You were used to. I'm such a terrible person. He took her in his embrace and kissed her head. Wine never knew the side of him, of course. He had never gotten mad at her before, let alone apologizing with his red, guilty eyes. Wine, how dare you call my lovely husband a terrible person? You have no right. He smiled and looked down at her. Zanku, my apologies, my lady. Is there any way I can make up to you? Wine, yes, take me on a vacation after this whole drama is over. Jungkook, you have command on my shoulders. He sworn to have better control over himself that night and to never hurt her ever again.